12. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get to Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're going to see it on the left-hand side, the second one down, the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And as you get Basil's newsletter, folks, okay, he has approximately 11 different archives in there that you can go through all of them so you understand how, how he looks at the market every day, how the Chapman wave looks at the market every day, and you can ride this market. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, it's great to have you back. We missed you. Hope you're feeling well. I feel, I feel good. I can't be growling just yet. You can feel it in my chest a little, but I feel awesome. I, yeah, well, and I appreciate you're it. You're looking good, yeah. and it's great to have you. So... Uh, I thought I'd just uh, review, because I haven't spoken to you for a little while. Yes. Um, what I'd spoken to you about uh, quite a few weeks ago was I said I drew in this rectangle formation, and I said to you, it looks to me like there could be some kind of a sideways consolidation coming up. I don't see anything really bearish, but I did see some kind of a consolidation. We had that in the Dow, we had that in the S&P, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, three, day, three days ago, or three sessions ago, I should say, we broke to the upside. So this is very interesting because you can see on the left side chart, that's the Dow Day. We still remain our long-term longs. We still have our long-term longs in the Dow. We did have a short-term trade, just a, a bearish trade for the short while. We took that off. So essentially, this is now your key support level down to 37,000. Uh, between 37,700 and 37,000. So to me, from looking at what's happened up until now, this is really the congestion area. And I, I think there's still some form of congestion. We, we're actually rotating through different, uh, even within the sectors that have been very good. And you can see, uh, with the, so let me just finish. This. this is the daily chart, and this is the weekly chart. And you can see there's this expanding triangle here. It's like a little wedge formation. Yes. And we just nicked the top of, this is the weekly chart. Now, what is really quite, quite phenomenal going to an all-time high we've had this is the 13th week i believe it's the 13th week with higher highs so this is still a leg from the 30 uh, from the 32000 low late october this is still just one leg up in the chapman wave and it's still a leg up if next week that's all quite of a leg week, up <laughs> is that, yeah it is and if all of next week there is no new high even by one penny whatever the high is this week then you make a peak A. And I'm looking at this closely. It's only Tuesday. I mean, we've got a lot of market action to go. We've got politics. We've got economics. We've got uh, just, you know, we've got sector rotation. So we'll see where this closes. But what's really important <clears throat> is that we've broken to a new high in the monthly chart, and this is only leg C. So I just thought I'd, I'd uh, quickly go through, for those who are new to my work, once I... I am in a buy signal to upgrade it to a buy mode in whatever it is, whether it's the one-minute chart or whether it's a monthly chart. If it gets upgraded through the technicals to a buy mode, it means that there should be at least four higher peaks. They're alphabetized sequentially. Peak A is the first. One penny above A starts leg B. Peak B, if it goes one penny above peak B, it starts leg C, et cetera, until it gets to D. D is the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. I can show you dozens of charts. I don't want to do that right now. I'll do that in my show tomorrow at 10, where I show how many times we can get to. Actually, I can do it right now. Look, Well, even but Basil, let me, let me just ask you, because what you are yeah. saying, however, is that, you know, because this first leg was so dramatic, I mean, in order to get to a peak D, we're talking months away. No matter so what happens, you, right? You're talking about one whole week before you can call it a peak A. Then right. another week to go the leg. So the week going into February at the very earliest, and that's on the weekly chart. The yes. monthly chart goes even longer. <laughs> so that, that's, I consider yeah. that to be very positive. Yeah, look, here's the 10-minute chart. There's your peak D. You pull back. 
you do a cup formation, this is a 10 minute E mini. And what does it go to? It goes to leg D right now. And it's a leg until it makes a lower high. So this is the same technique. I'm showing you one minute and 10 minute charts. No, there's no, it's a, it's a fractal. So it means that the same thing happens in the big picture. Yeah. So this, if this is a leg A, this is very, it doesn't mean to say we can't drop sharply. It just means there should still be higher highs in 2024. I consider that to be a nice indicator and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. So, uh, so that's the Dow. Then I thought I'd just uh, update because you remember we had bought Microsoft so for subscribers at yeah. 338. It had a really nice rally all the way to, uh, it actually hit 400 just uh, yesterday. 400.62, we've taken little bits off and we keep adding and taking off so that we've got a core position. We use it as a trading vehicle now. But here as well, look, the weekly is in, in a leg B, I'm calling this a leg B, and the monthly is, an action, is already in a leg D. That doesn't mean to say that it has to break down. It just means you've already reached a, a level where uh, the buy signal to buy mode has achieved its goal, which is mean to go to a D. So um, that's positive. And then there's one that I'd spoken to you about for quite some time. And I said, there's something going on here. This is the Uranium Energy Corporation. So we've got it down in the 360s. It's now trading at uh, 784. It hit 829. We took uh, some money off this. But what I w wanted to mention is this is uranium. It's very different to the crude oil or the other parts of the energy sector. So I, I said there's something going on in this area that if you go to the URNM, which is a uranium ETF, look, it broke out leg C in the monthly chart, leg C in the weekly chart, peak C in the, in the daily. This is holding really well. I'm not sure why, but it's really interesting to see. And it was a CCJ is the other one. This is really the boss. This is the Kamiko Corporation uranium fuel. It's gone to a leg D in the daily, peak D in the weekly. So I... I'm looking at this and I'm saying, gosh, I wonder what's going on in uranium that is held so strongly. Is this going to be one of those instruments that actually doesn't pull back for quite a while and keeps holding up? So we've kept that, um, we've kept that as a core position, the UEC, and I just keep raising my eyebrows saying, hmm, I'm not, I'm not talking about just uranium. I'm saying, what is it about uranium? In this economic and political environment, that's important, and I well, can't really answer the question. Well, they can get those. I mean, the, the new reactors, man, are really powerful, and they're not and, dangerous. And a lot like, safer. But they still, it's still it's a public relations deal. I mean, but those new Absolutely. reactors are awesome, man. I mean, you and know. it could turn out that that, in fact, eventually becomes some kind of resolution. Anyway, the uranium is acting very well. So, th and, and there's something else that I thought I'd, I'd mention here. That with, within the context, you know, you spoke about the dollar. Now, we've been long the dollar since 2018. The dollar is right at that leg D that we were looking for, right at the 200 period moving average. So this is going to be a key moment for the dollar over the next week. And folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into newsletters. You're going to see it on the left-hand side, second one down. And hit that opening call. You are off to the races. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.